Rawr, I'm Thor. Taste my hammer. Scum. Yeah. Hey guys, what's up? This is Asian Video Gamer. Back with you with a classic Dark Souls 2 PvP session roleplay. Today we got a different character, different roleplay, and uh, it's hammer time, baby. And I'm talking about Thor. And this guy with the hammer really deals a lot of damage. Although the weapon is really slow and anybody with quick weapon can kill you really easily. The strength of this um, weapon is it's kind of hard to predict different timing for each swing and also the damage on it although it's not the best in the hammer class is actually quite good also has a good um, critical hit damage as well there's a lot of tricks you can use with this hammer but the best thing I like to do with it is the jump attack for this build to work you're gonna have to upgrade your adaptability a little bit higher because you are a little bit vulnerable when you miss and you need to be quick and also have that extra inv inv invincibility frame when you roll the best type of attacks I find with this weapon is the roll attack you'll see in a couple uh, fights later on um, it's actually quite useful to roll into your enemy and then if he rolls away you can still hit him because the range of this thing is really huge look I just swung twice and this guy's almost dead and of course I have the sun, uh, sunlight blade just for you know being a Thor and commander thunder and all but yeah it's actually a quite a hard build to play even though there's a buff because your your hammer is really slow like against fast weapons you're really pretty much handicapped and you don't have the power to kill to kill somebody with, like this guy Let's see I just did a roll attack it, it's really far deceptive range that one he rolled away but there I think I got him again. I don't know. I can't remember. I can't see. And one of the best features is the jump attack. It's so far away. It's so hard to uh It's so hard to see what's coming until it's too late. It doesn't deal a lot of damage, but it's not bad. And also the best thing about this hammer is that if you hit once you definitely can hit twice. The combo, uh, the cancel on the second swing is pretty fast, so there's the advantage on that. And you can see like there's some advantage, but other than all those rolls, there's not really that much to this hammer. You get this hammer from Maduff um, in Lost Basilisk. Bastille, sorry, lost Bastille. Uh, in the place where you find Maduff, he's sitting on the chest that contains this hammer. So in order to get the hammer, you gotta light the fire beside his chamber, and then he'll move to that position, and then you can get the treasure there. Do not kill Maduff to get this hammer. You can kill Maduff if you want, but don't kill him for this hammer. You can easily get the hammer by just moving him. Here is somebody with a shotel and uh, is that maybe it's a moon crescent thing? Like sickle, yeah, it's a sickle. But here again, you see like the backstab uh, damage. It's actually quite high. Um, even though it wasn't enough to kill him, you can see it deals a lot of damage, even with his barrier, magic barrier. One of the things I don't like about this game, as you can see here, 
you'll see just coming up is the phantom range on weapons. Like I'm pretty sure I'm super far away from this guy and he still was able to hit me. That kinda takes away from the game. But you know that type of stuff only happens once out of every five matches, so it's okay. And I sort of expected it to hit. A lot of matches in Dark Souls end up in like like this character. Where we're just stalling, we're just moving, we're just rolling and then, you know, doing the same pattern stuff. I don't know whether or not it's just because I'm stuck with this hammer or the enemies in this game. Like the people that play this game are really watered down, I guess. But I still like this game and I can't wait for the DLC to come out. Hopefully with the new patch a lot of these things are balanced back and a lot of people will do or more people will do different things instead of like this guy just bamming Soul Spear. It's really annoying. And then he's standing right beside the mob and then I can't go get him. I guess that's my fault for not clearing. But still man, like how many Soul Spears was that? Come on, come fight me, man. Oh, now he's spamming those magic? Really? Whatever. It's okay. I'm Thor, baby. Your lightning is not as strong as mine. Bitch, eat hammer. It's hammer time. Yeah. So this is uh, my Thor built. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Click the like button and subscribe. See you guys next time. Toodles.